Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Advanced Warfare In-Depth. In today's episode, we're going to be reviewing the PDW Machine Pistol. This is the only fully automatic secondary weapon in Advanced Warfare, and it's one of the few that truly feels like a worthy secondary weapon. It doesn't feel good enough to be a primary, but it does feel good enough to be a secondary. The gameplay is me using the PDW with a variety of different attachments and camouflages. A lot of different ways to use this gun, so I just wanted to show a lot of them off. It's all in beautiful 1080p 60 FPS, very crisp quality, all recorded with an Elgato Game Capture HD60. You can find a link to that down there in the description and a little bit more info in the end of this video. Let's talk about the damage. It's unfortunately kind of a low damage weapon. It'll deal 26 damage up close. That's its maximum and decrease down to 18 at a distance. This is very similar to something kind of like the AMR9 making it four to six shots to kill. It's usually however going to be six shots. You only get four shots to kill up very very close so do keep in mind it's going to take a lot of shots to kill because the four shot kill range is 2.5 meters and this number is repeated for the last three in-depth episodes that's the same as the grox three shot kill range and the atlas 45 two shot kill range if you want to see an example of that you can check out the atlas 45 episode and the five shot kill range is 13 meters which is slightly less than the range of most shotguns so if they're outside of shotgun range then you're going to need six shots to kill which means quite often you're going to need five or six shots to kill and almost never four the rate of fire is 750 rpm fully automatic which is pretty good that'll round down to 720 with frame rounding but that's the same as the AK-12 as the bow and everything else so it's going to have a very good and high rate of fire it'll feel quite good and most of the variants do fire faster uh, I'm kind of working on some variant stuff right now and I looked at the variant chart they all have plus and minus a lot of different things but almost every single variant will fire faster so do keep that in mind there's a lot of rate of fire increases the recoil with this high rate of fire is unfortunately high and it has a low auto aim range uh, the recoil is high enough to where even with a 15 round mag you might find yourself emptying a whole mag and not getting enough shots to kill it'll kind of feel like a hit marker machine and it has a low auto aim range the same way that the atlas 45 and the grok does that's the sticky aim range and the aim assist range on consoles they're lower for secondary weapons than they are for primaries magazine size is 15 right off the bat that's really good that's a high number for secondary weapons and with extended mags which is my personal favorite it goes up to 22 rounds and becomes in just tremendously more useful I would highly recommend extended mags on this weapon. Iron sights, uh, they work well enough. They're not perfect. I've seen better iron sights. The Lord knows I've seen worse too. But for the range at which the PDW is effective, the iron sights do work well enough. And long range optics, unfortunately, are unusable. The regular optics, the red dot, the red dot and some of that, but like ACOG and some of the longer range sights make this weapon extremely difficult to use. And I would highly recommend avoiding ACOG or any sort of unusual optical attachments. The hip fire is just wide enough to miss a lot. If you're really close to somebody of course the hip fire is great it's actually I'm gonna recommend that as a strategy later on for this just to be a pull out and spray from the hip kind of weapon but if they're kind of far away it's not going to compete with the submachine guns or anything else like I said it's just wide enough to make you miss a lot and to kind of make the hip fire tricky akimbo unfortunately does not work well I thought that having these weapons akimbo would really boost the hip fire lethality and the range and the ammo count and all that sort of stuff I ran akimbo with extended mags and you can't put laser sight on this one because that would make it really just powerful that's that's not an uh, available attachment but unfortunately it just didn't work very well I found that with akimbo the hip fire spread was too wide to hit people and when you run your guns akimbo you don't get double the ammo I thought two guns twice as much ammo no you have the same ammo pool to share from so you can reload your akimbos like once or twice and you're totally out of ammo and it just it just made it difficult to handle and even like I thought akimbo would work great but it didn't so I would highly recommend avoiding that when it comes to variants, there are two that really, really stand out in my opinion. The first one is the condensed. This is the marksman variant. You're going to get this no matter what once you get 300 kills. It boosts the rate of fire to 923 RPM, and due to frame rounding, it's going to stay at like 900, so that's a really solid rate of fire boost. It has no penalty to the damage, no penalty to the range, and no penalty to the recoil. All it does is have wider hip fire spread, which you're probably going to be able to do just fine up super close anyway. So the condensed is a really awesome variant just the flat massive rate of fire boost and minimal anything else the other one is the chucker now the crushed and the chucker are very similar those are the two elite variants however the chucker has the highest rate of fire of all of the pdws and it does unfortunately have a damage and range decrease uh, the it can go up to seven shots to kill and the range at which that happens is a little bit earlier but the but the rate of fire bonus is massive and you only have a very tiny penalty to recoil for that i find that getting up to over a thousand rpm with the chucker is worth trading off the damage as i can really just dump bullets downstream 
stream and these are the two I would I would prefer uh, the condensed like the chucker would be like the more extreme version of the condensed but they both work very very well as for my opinion on this weapon I feel that it only works as a fallback weapon and will finish off a weak person it is a true secondary weapon it is in no way good enough to be a primary or viable as a primary weapon on its own However, if you run this as a secondary on your sniper rifle class, on your shotgun class, on whatever you need it class, like with fast hands, if you just need to pull out a weapon really fast and dump bullets downstream, which is kind of how people use the Cap 40 in Black Ops 2, this will work great if you, if you know you got a few shots off and you only need one or two to finish the person, it'll work flawlessly. If you want to use this as a primary like the RW1, you really can't do that and I would highly recommend against it. I feel that this is by far best with extended mags. Extended mags works great on the PDW. It's probably the biggest weakness is the magazine size is a little bit small. Even though it's the biggest one, you'll burn through it really fast due to the rate of fire. But with extended mags, you can really maintain that rate of fire. You can guarantee a couple more kills if they're not paying attention. And just spray and pray. Like I said, this isn't an accuracy weapon, a precision weapon, a tactical elite. This is for when you panic and you just need to dump bullets downstream into bodies. It'll work great at that and that's how I recommend you use it. Well guys, that's all for this episode of In-Depth. I hope that you enjoyed it and learned something useful. It was all recorded in 1080p 60fps, which you can see in 60fps if you're watching on Chrome and I think Internet Explorer. I'm sponsored by Elgato, so I'd appreciate it if you check out the link down there into the description to Elgato. The previous episode was on the MP443 Grok, and the next one is going to be secret. I have, with this one, I have finally finished all of my weapon reviews for In-Depth. They're all totally done for the normal weapons, and now I'm going to move into something a little different, but I gotta keep it secret for a day or two and as always if you enjoyed don't forget to like favorite and subscribe drifter out Taking the flag.